Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we are continuing our school supply season for fall 22 extravaganza. Um, and it just, this time of year uh, here, uh, every store you go into is just a wash with school supplies of every type and sort and I am drawn to the writing instruments of course and uh, probably much more excited than most of the kids are um, particularly because I think they don't want to be thinking of school quite yet but for parents and teachers and uh, some of us grown-ups, this is the time to really get some bargains, which takes us to the featured pencil for this episode. Uh, these pencils were found at my local Kroger grocery store. So if you didn't know, Kroger is no slouch when it comes to school supply deals. Um, of all kinds and they pencils pens notebooks you know, markers um, uh, erasers uh, uh, folders I mean you name it uh, they in the seasonal area of the store which is generally in the center uh, where they have things sort of um, that are in conjunction with whatever particular season we're in, spring, summer, Christmas, Easter, Valentine's, Halloween. Right now, that center section is is just jammed with school supplies. And this pack of pencils stood out for me for two reasons. One, I don't know that I have seen Bostitch pencils before. I understand that apparently they have been marketing pencils for some time. I just never see them in the stores. So this was the first time I saw Bostitch brand pencils. I'm certainly familiar, I think we all are, with Bostitch products, particularly staples and staplers and uh, uh, pencil sharpeners and uh, things like that. Uh, that Bostitch is known for, but they have put their name on these pencils. And they are selling them at Kroger for 50 cents a pack. 50 cents a pack. Um, that's with your Kroger savings card, uh, if you have one. Uh, I think the regular price is like, I don't know, $1.29 or something like that. But I got these for 50 cents. And let's take a look. They are in this black cardboard box. They tell us a little bit up front about the pencil. Bostitch Premium Wood Pencils, HB Pencil Number 2, Smudge Resistant high quality wood 10 pack so again at 50 cents these are five cents or a nickel uh, per pencil let's look on the back you have a picture of the pencil there on a notebook made from high quality wood high density long lasting number two hb graphite smudge resistant to avoid compromised work. Latex-free eraser, cleanly cleans mistakes, certified non-toxic, conforms to ASDM, okay, standards. So, uh, those are the headlines. We get into the fine print here. Um, so, these are manufactured um, by a company, Goods IQ, uh, in North Kingston, Rhode Island. However, the pencils are made in India. So, 
whenever I see that, it intrigues me because generally I have found to my own personal taste that I like a lot of the pencils that are manufactured in India by, um, you know, some of the large makers like Dom's, like Hindustan Pencil Company that makes Nataraj and Apsara uh, and a few others. So I thought, okay, we'll take a chance on these and see how they do. So uh, again, they come in this, this cardboard box. Let me, let's do here, take a look at them. So here's the, there, it's short a couple because I've already taken a couple out of here. Um, let me come in a little bit so we can see. Now we know that these are not cedar. They say they're premium wood though. Um, you know, the cores are not bad. I've seen a lot worse than this uh, in terms of being off-center. These are all fairly, uh, you know, they're not spot-on, but they're pretty good. Okay, take a pencil out here and let's take a closer look. So, very standard golden yellow uh, hexagonal barrel. Um, rounded corners and really the only imprint on this pencil is on one side in black Bostitch 2HB that's it we have a a chrome toned ferrule there and a pink eraser both uh, eraser is crimped on and the ferrule is crimped on. And here's our pencil, unsharpened, out of the box. I'm going to sharpen it and we will so try it out. Sharpened up here. Ah, sharpened up ah, fairly evenly. Um, definitely not a cedar, uh, but um, you know, the wood's okay, uh, no splintering. Uh, it's, like I said, sharpened fairly smoothly. Let's, um, let's try this. Okay, well, um, this is a number 2 HB, uh, it is a fairly dark and bold graphite. Not um, terribly unlike a lot of other Indian pencils. Not sure who makes this. Whoop. Made in India. bit more down on the paper here. The point retention is okay. It seems to be wearing down rather fast. It is a softer number two. It's on the softer side. Uh, very reminiscent 
of pen and gear. I might even say this almost feels a little softer than pen and gear, but I have to do it side by side to be sure. So, not uh, uh, a terrible smudge drag, but it's there. So, they talk about um, the Great Eraser. Let's see about that. We will try that. Well, <laughs> they may have overstated the uh, performance of the eraser here a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Not good, really. Let's try a Pentel. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Not a Raj figure. Let's get an Indian made eraser. Um, here is a arch foam eraser. Does a very nice job. Um, how about a pink carnation? Okay, uh, Mars, mm-hmm, oh, I don't know, a mini softy, okay, there you have it. So, attached eraser, lousy. But overall erasability with any kind of really decent eraser uh, isn't bad. I'll give it a B uh, overall. Uh, it, it, it lost points with the attached eraser. Um, let's come back and take a look at our point. Uh, we're 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 wearing out here. Um, I guess this pencil is a little bit on the softer side. Comfortable to hold. And fairly dark. For a number two on the dark side of number two. Let me sharpen it up. Okay.
I'd say it's a mighty good five cent pencil. So, the Bostitch number two HB pencil from Kroger, perhaps available in other stores. This is where I found it in the school supply section uh, of the store. And um, I gotta say, I like it. Uh, you know, it's not the finest pencil I'll ever use for sure, but if you like things a little softer, a little darker, um, you don't mind doing a little extra sharpening, um, this might just fit the bill for general writing. So, thank you for being a part of this review. Uh, if you like what I do here, please share, like, and subscribe. We've got more school supply bonanza videos coming up. Um, and I will look forward to seeing you again real soon here on Always Analog.